Today I'm going to show you how to scan your hard drive and look at the file names and take those file names and put them into a table in Access. Here's the scenario. My uh, bookstore that I had running for quite a while a lot of times you end up with a situation where you pick up a new book out of the bin and the book ha already has a picture ready for the database to use. I wanted to be able to use the form that already knew that I had a picture and could bypass the whole picture taking piece of the database. But in order to do that, I had to know the names of the photos that were already on the hard drive. And so I batted my head against the wall for a while, and here's what I came up with. So first off, let's look at a table called file list. And this table right now is empty. Now the ID is just an auto number ID. It's just to make sure that I have an ID for the, the table. And ISBN ID is the ID of the ISBN file that has all the data about a particular book including the picture. Well, in the database, what we did was we, we labeled the picture name as the ISBN ID of the particular record for that ISBN. So when we created it and put it on the hard drive, it already had the ISBN ID in it. So now we kind of want to reverse that process. We want to go look at the hard drive, see what pictures we have, capture the name that we already gave it, and tell the database we already have a picture of that particular thing. We needed to do that multiple times, usually at the beginning of each day and maybe at the middle of the, each day if we had a lot of people putting books in so that we could have what we called our rapid or speed entry form use that record in order to bypass the picture taking process. So right now it's empty. And on this main menu, this rebuild speed entry button was the button we used in order to rebuild that table. So I'm going to collapse this and I want to put this file in design view and I want to go see what code I used behind the scenes and share that with you today. And I did that under an event procedure and under that event procedure was this set of code right here. First off, I want to set warnings to false because I don't want the user to have to deal with all the messages that come to the screen. I opened a query called query table file list delete. In other words, this cleared out the table. Now I have to initialize my variables. First off, I wanted to mention a, a variable called DB as a DAO database and then an RS as a record set. So the database is eventually going to be set to my current database and RS as a record set is going to be set to the table that we're going to use. So a record set is a table, a DB is the current database. So I'm going to dimension my object and my source and file. Set my object equal to create object scripting file system object. Okay. Set my source equal to the my object get folder. Okay, so here's where I'm setting my object to a folder. And the folder is my merchant wagon files and business pictures. So that just shows where it is on my hard drive. So the program knows where to get the data from. I'm going to set current database to my DB variable. RS is going to be open record set and it's going to open this table file list that I already showed you. And I want to open it as a Dyna set. Now I'm going to loop through all the records in that folder. So each file in my source dot files. In other words, we're going to look at the source, which up here was defined as a file. And then the object was set as a file system object. And a file system object, of course, is a file name in this case. So rs.addnew, in other words, I'm going to open the record set to add a record. And the record I'm going to add is the, are going to add it to ISBN ID. And I'm going to take the integer of the left of the file name with the length minus six. 
Okay, now, the reason why I have length minus six is at the end of each record that we created, we gave it the name dash one dot jpg, that total six characters. So we wanted to grab the everything to the left of that dash. And then we're going to update the record and we're going to end the if. And then we're gonna go to the next file. It'll keep iterating through this until it finally gets to all of the records, to the end of all those records. After that's done, we're gonna deconstruct our variables. We're gonna close the record set. We're gonna close the database. We're going to set record set to nothing and DB to nothing and basically just deconstruct all the variables, clean up after ourselves. Now, what this does is it iterates through the file names, puts all those file names into the database. Now, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and show you that it actually works. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to put that back in form view. Okay, so now that we're back in form view, we're gonna hit the rebuild speed entry button. Okay, now that it's done, let's go take a look at the result. The result, if we open the file list, shows that we loaded 22,207 records. Now it did take about five minutes. The file list or the files that we're looking at were over a network, uh, not a really big network, just a small uh, local area network, but still it, didn't, it wasn't all on my hard drive. So it took about five minutes to iterate through all those files and bring them all and compile the list. But here's how you do it. Here's how you get a file list and it can be putting in any name in that field. And I've shown you the code. Uh, just message me in the comments if you want to know more information about how we did it. If you like what you see in this video, hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to grow it and get more of this good information out to folks. Thanks and hope to see you again.